Alrighty, hey yo, what is up knights? Aegis Rick here, back with some more DFO PvP. Now for this video, guys, I had to do a little bit of a ghetto rig because there was an extreme tournament, but I wasn't the one streaming it. I was actually streaming another stream, but I wanted to do my own commentary over the official commentary that they had because I felt like I could do it a little bit better. So for this video, guys, it's gonna be Group E, where we had a Soul Bender, Monk, Avenger, and Crusader. Enjoy the match. Again, like I said, one of the first time I've done this. I'm not hosting. I'm not actually in the match. I'm watching a stream of a stream. And, you know, I'm sorry for the quality. We can't... If you look really closely, <laughs> then maybe you can actually see the numbers and stuff. Maybe, maybe this might be a time where he incorporates the uh, Ghost Slash. But anyway, guys, 3, 2, 1. Let's go, all right? So, we can see already that, you know, I'm not really liking the costume on the Crusader. He's better look more more awesome. He tried to get the launch on there. He's actually using the Ghost Step to perfectly iframe through that, getting that neutral wave damage. And I believe he's also going to have his launch right there. Ooh, just pulled him back, and that's just going to be a launch combo. He actually dropped it. I can't believe that. Okay, now he's getting Wave Ghost Slasher. I can't believe he dropped that. He actually got a good launch. Good block encounter. Full Moon Slash in, baby. Now that's going to be a jump attack combo. And it's going to be good right here, because he's actually in the middle of the Saya. Raza's actually setting up as well. He's got to get out of there. Luckily, it didn't get caught by any mummies, because that would have been doing some tick damage. Actually, I think that might have been worse if he got hit with it, because he could just use Revenge of Light at this point. But turned on uh, Light of Divinity. Low level, it seems because it only lasts like a few seconds, so he's zoning. Both of these guys are playing his own game. Phantasmal Slash in. He's going to be able to get some extra damage. Revenge of Light hit for 5,000 right there. So, again, something Rickon has got to watch out for the Soul Bender. He's going to try to pull him back into his um, Bremen right there. Obviously, he's not going to want to walk through there. Neutral Wave, getting a little bit of neutral damage going. And he's setting up the zones again, guys. So this is a zoning character. He's gonna, You don't want to stay too far back against a Saint, because what he's going to do is right there, he's going to start healing up his massive HP. That is like a good, I want to say, one-eighth uh, recovery as well as a slow heal. So you want to play this keep-away game. You want to play the timeout game. You're not going to win against a Saint. Saint has some massive heals. So you've got to dish out the damage and keep the pressure going, I feel like, and watch out for the Revenge of Light. Maybe not try to maybe not try to do the combos while the Revenge of Light is going. So, all right. We do got a Kala tick going on right now, and the Kala is how he's going to be doing that massive damage that I really want him to go in there and punish him uh, using the Justice right there. Um, I really want him to use that call and get those ticks damage off. He needs, oh, a launch combo, dash attack, and this is going to be, like I said, paralyzed bolt. He might actually get the stun on the explosion hit. He's got a standing on the on the uh, standing combo right there. He just gets a stun. Oh, my gosh. He actually missed. Actually picked it back up with the smasher. Tries to hit with the defection wall. Would have been, ooh, gets another launch. This is going to be game. Almost almost certainly going to be game. Um, he's got his dash attack. He misses. Actually gets a lucky break, and Rickon's given a last, <laughs> another chance at life here. Hits with a hammer of repentance here. Actually, I don't think he actually hit with it. Tries with the phantasmal, misses the launch. Has to abuse that ghost step a little bit more offensively. I feel like for Rickon to actually pull ahead on this. Actually gets a launch off, just a raw launch. Full moon slash. Actually getting ticks of the Kala too. Basic attack. Basic attack. Okay, actually getting a little bit of the tick damage. Not enough. This guy's gonna heal again, and it's just, it's just not gonna be. A battle of attrition that Rickon can win at this point. It is too much uh, HP, and he does not have the damage, and he's just getting hit by Revenge of Light at this point. You just see the lightnings coming out of nowhere. He's just got to keep moving to avoid those lightnings. It is just not looking good at all. He's actually getting hit with this. He's actually going to take the explosion damage after the. Yep, he's just died, even though he's walking the attack. Very, uh, very patient game. I liked it with these guys. But the Crusader, if you want to be too patient with it, the Crusader can just out-heal you. That's what just happens. Uh, we saw that yesterday with the Crusader matches. Just out-heals you. So you really got to watch out for uh, for um, giving him too much time. I, I don't want to say put the pressure on him because he has Revenge of Light. He's just going to be countering super hard. But I want to say you don't want to take too much time zoning him out because he, he will gladly taken uh, at doing that. You can just use Healing Wind and heal back. I, like I said, like it looked like a fourth of his health just back for no reason uh, because he, he refused to, or he, he failed to uh, keep the pressure going. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the first match to Baybon, also on his, uh, also known as Chan Ming because he had to bring in his, his uh, substitute, the Crusader. So, you guys uh, let me know some um, tips on the commentary. Um, like I said, practice thing for me. Um, luckily, I know these classes well enough to actually do some commentary on them. But what kind of strategy I see Rickon having to having to do is making sure he doesn't get those heals off. Maybe interrupt them or something. Make make sure he doesn't get the healing wind off. He should be mindful of when the healing wind is coming. It is a level 45 skill, as far as I know. So he should look at his own 45 skills and and kind of gouge the timing. Like, oh shit, he's about to heal. I can't. I Maybe I'll bait him into trying to cast the Healing Wind and then punch him super hard. It's just something he can't let happen too many times or he's just going to get out healed. So. Alright guys, we're going into match 2. 
Uh, obviously, the Saint only has one more win since this is the best of three. So he's one hit, one win away. Actually, I, I think he got a good perfect block on that. I'm not sure. Um, either way, setting up the zones. He does not want to get launched with that launch right there. Blocks the deflection wall, gets a launch of his own. Really good block and, and punish right there. Gore Cross getting some basic attack Slayer combos. I want to see some high damage uh, finishers at the end of this. Getting another full moon slash. He's almost hit the damage cap. Does not get a refreeze. So, he's not getting lucky with those freeze. Hammer, ooh, don't want to get hit with those too many times, but that was actually pretty good positioning by the Saint. He's casting all his buffs now. Can't hit him with physical skills at this point, but you can still hit him with magic skills. So I will uh, let you guys know. He has two different, Crusader has two different counters against uh, physical and magic, but they're they're exclusive from each other. So you can't just use Light of the Divinity to block magic with that, so. Really abusive uses of the Ghost Step right there. Just using Ghost Step. No, he's going to get the iframe and get that Wave Wheel Slasher. Doesn't follow it up with great damage. He could have followed up with a launch. Oh, he tries to get a launch right there. Nice block, but didn't get, wasn't quick enough on the launch. Probably waiting on cooldown still. You see the Justice coming back in. And he's, he's probably coming in there. He has no buffs at all. He has no Ghost Step, no Kala, no, no nothing. So he's just going in there raw. He's, I think he's just going to wait for the Kala and stuff to come up. Planting some Razas. Um, no random ice, no random ice eyes right now. So I'm seeing a lot of poking, but you know I want to see him like maybe advance a little bit. There's a ghost step right here, so he's gonna be abusing and the Kala. So ooh, actually gets launched. That might be trouble. Oh man, it does not pick up with the spear. So if that spear would have connected, ooh, he gets this launch. Doesn't want to go into the Raza. He's so scared. Oh my gosh, he's so patient actually. Take that back. Ooh, but that patience did not pay off as he traded with a launch, and now he's actually used the explosive attack on the Kala. Uh, probably could have got more damage if he used some like jump or back step and shot a bunch of Kala missiles, but the ex the finishing attack on the Kala is really good. So hitting with a full moon slash again, missile deflection wall, but does get with a hammer repentance, and now they're playing another zoning game. He's the the soul bender. Obviously, he wants to get closer now. He does not want this full to heal, and he's actually doing a really good job at it this time around. So you know. Waiting for his buffs, you know, his Ghost Step and his Kala, he's turned them both on at the same time again. Now he's going to try to iframe. Ooh, actually gets hit with the Deflection Wall into the Smasher. Does not follow it up with the Spear, just pick him back up and kind of reset that combo. So that's good. He didn't take too much damage from that. Gets a Raw launch, and guys, oh, he finishes with the Wave Wheel Slash because he was scared of the Revenge of Light. So right there, he was just using up the iframe to make sure he doesn't get too hardly punished by hitting with the Magic Skills. Um, smart usage, smart uh, awareness that that was something he had to do. Otherwise, he would have just taken uh, raw damage. And honestly, he probably would have gotten punished for it. So, did avoid... Ooh, just full moon slash! And this, uh, this is not going to be game. He does not have any good buffs up. But getting a good standard Slayer combo going on right now. And uh, now he's got some Ghost Step. Gets that Phantasmal. That's going to be doing a chunk. Getting that neutral into launch. Hitting so close, actually. But remember, ooh, he actually had the... the uh, Ooh, just good move of the Ghost Step. He actually had the Resurrection. I believe he would have just came back to life anyway. But he waited for the duration of that. Came right back when it ran out a split second later and just took him out right there. Actually avoided a few things at the end there that was pretty crucial. The Deflection Wall. He could have came back with a serious combo if that would have connected. But really good match with this Soul Bender right there. Like I said, he was a lot more aggressive this time around and did not let him... Uh, you know, both of these guys play keep away. He just kept the pressure on him, stayed a little bit distance away from him. I like the fact that he was always positioning himself where he would not get punished. Uh, it was really a, a strategic positioning thing where he would stand like diagonally from him so that, you know, he still kept the pressure. He, he knew he was there, but, you know, he was kind of waiting for his skills on the ghost step in the Kala. So that is what I'm talking about, guys. We got a Soul Bender taking round um, two. So that means that, guys, this is a tiebreaker round. Soul Bender, Crusader. Like I already said, Saint, I felt like had the matchup here. So I'm still going to be rooting for that Saint, but it looks like it may be possible. So Bender has uh, found his number or, or got his number, you guys. So good matches. All right, guys, round three, guys. I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of excited. I did not expect the Soul Bender to be uh, so strategic at the end there. So we're going to have to see a lot more launches here from the from the Crusader to get any good initiations. Ghost Step. Oh, my gosh. He still has some uh, he still has some or super armor from his launch. So, luckily, he didn't get launched by the Slayer's launch. But he's going in there with the Light of Divinity. He's just brave, man. He's st the, the Soul Bender. Oh, gets a freeze. Okay, he hadn't gotten a freeze this whole match. So, Soul Bender still has ways to launch you without having to use the standard launcher. You could use the Full Moon Slash and stuff. And that will launch you just the same. So, oh, man. Hits with a Hammer of Repentance here. And... Actually, they are, both of these fools have not taken any damage yet, so, okay. Okay, we're seeing the Ghost Step, and this is the Ghost Step Kala combination that the Soul Bender has been using so abusively. He just used it again to avoid the deflection wall damage. He's going to get some poke damage at the end of that, uh, Phantasm Slash 2. Just abusing, oh my gosh, a perfect block. That was such a good block. 
using the ghost step, blocking the attack afterwards, hits with the finish attack of the Kala, and that's going to be doing half of your HP of damage. But he should have his 45 as well. He should be seeing a healing win. And uh, Crusader going offensive here. Could be playing a little bit more keep away games just to heal up a little bit. There's a healing wind. Actually gets interrupted. Actually, he still gets a healing wind off, but he got neutral wave. Nice block again. Man, the block is what's winning this soul bend of these matches. He is blocking those launches. He is punishing super hard right now. Neutral wave sword into the gore cross. Triple slash into launch again. Hits with the ghost step at the end of that. Gets his ghost step buff off, so he's ready for any counter attacks. Hits, misses the phantasmal, but he's still abusing the ghost step. Hits with the uh, hit of the launch right there. Actually, misses with the blades of purity as well. Another block! Oh my gosh! This guy's blocking like crazy, man! Man. Gets with the finish attack of the call. Actually, doesn't use finish attack. Get those hits off. Get those ticks off. Backstep into the call attacks. And another launch, guys. This is going to be game. He actually misses the, the tick. The tick is too much already. Blocks it again. Gets smashed out of the finish attack of the call. What a good move right there. Actually, staying alive. I'm, I, it is not looking good for the Crusader, but staying alive long enough to be able to <laughs> live for another five seconds or so. So that was awesome. Santasmal. That's going to be game, boys. I said he's coming back to life, like I said, using those uh, that priest buff. And is he dead? Is he dead? He should be dead. Okay, he's dead. Okay. A little bit of a latency issue at the end there, but man. Rickon, soul, uh, soul victor, soul point of, of this match and the previous match that he won. It was those blocks. He was blocking so good. He was using the ghost step and blocking even the delayed hit on the launcher. He was blocking that and then punishing super hard with his launcher of his own. That's how you're going to win any matches uh, with the Slayers, guys. You block attacks and counter attack, that's how you're going to win. So, good match with the Soul Bender right there, showing that he, you know, even though Crusader, I felt, had the leg up, maybe, possibly. I mean, Saint is not a very offensive class, but uh, magic against Saint, you know. Yeah, he proved that you can defeat that. So, anyway, guys, good match right there. It's probably going to be like a five-minute break before we get to the next match. And uh, hopefully I'm doing a good job at uh, commentary, guys. So. so, obviously, the Avenger's going to be using the Scythe. Weapon is not that important on Avenger. I don't feel like. Not like the like you know, like a Weapon Master. It's just like standard weapon. He's going to be doing the Giant Weapon Launcher. He gets a little bit of speed because the Scythe is the strongest or the fastest uh, weapon. So, his Giant Weapon Launcher is going to be just as fast as the Saint you saw before. And I feel like even more so, if he gets that fucking launch off, this fool is going to be doing some massive damage. I take it back. Let's go, guys. So we're looking at the Avenger. Uh, excuse me. The Monk is actually using a Scythe as well. So he wants the attack speed. He does not give a fuck at all about the aura. But he gets a pull in. Actually uses a Sacred Countering right there. I didn't even see it. That's how fast it was. Good Sacred Countering. Doesn't capitalize on any combo, though. And look at the look at the very fucking minute uh differences or their movements man their movements are very deliberate right there gets a launch right there that's going to be a standard basic attack combo you can see the basic attack is actually a little bit different for the avenger so he can keep this combo going up a little bit easier he's just using basic attack into launch every time look at this shit Ooh, gets a good finisher attack he uses a little bit of demon points to get a finishing combo there's the grab you gotta watch out for and he gets another pull oh does that get the launch at the end of that Oh man, that would have been devastating. And here, we're already talking about what I predicted. Gets a chopping hammer, but gets grabbed and does not get a full combo off on that. She gets interrupted. Sonic Ball is in. Gets another launch. Pulls him in and gets another launch. He uses those he been points so well. Look at the launch combos, man. He does not actually get the stasis right there, so he doesn't get put in place. But it doesn't matter. He's doing so high da damage combos on the ground right there. Even though he's didn't have an opportunity to use his quick getup. And this is with tentacle grab and man like I said Monk has his work cut out for him. He hit with the chopping hammer but he got traded with those hands. Tries with the heavenly combo. Just notice he was too far away and canceled it. Sacred. Ooh, he uses sacred. But oh man, he misses the gravity squeeze and then gets a launch. And he went right next to him with that sacred hammer. Or the sacred countering, excuse me. Sonic Ball is in. Ooh, he uses quick getup too early. Should have held it a little bit longer to get hit with that. Not too big of a punishment right now. And he's so close to getting 100 0 guys. He has such a hard time getting in there, man. Avenger can just throw his scythe from that far away. He needs to try to get a sidewind initiation. Gets a sidewind initiation like I just fucking said. Machine gun jab. Gets that standard combo. He's going to get that launch combo. Shadow clone is in. Gets the chopping hammer. Misses. I can't believe he dropped that. Tries to pick it back up with the shadow. Uh, the, the sacred counter. And he actually misses that. I can't believe he dropped that, man. That was his chance, baby. Ooh, bad trade right there, but the Sonic Ball actually hits with the last hit of that. Gets up really early. Actually gets a standing combo on. Man, that was that was a very brutal trade. That did not look like it was come out, but are uh, gonna be able to come out for the monkey and he gets ahead on that. I did not expect that. Basic attack combo, hits with the smash at the end, hits with the divine crush at the end, misses the gravity squeeze, and he's the the combo, the damage is really close right now. I'd say, you know, oh, sidewind grab! Oh my gosh, there it is again! Another initiation. If he has the shadow clone up, this might be it, guys. He might be going for the for the finisher right here. 
Oh, ducking body blow or ducking straight punch right there. Basic tech combo doesn't finish it off very well, guys. This is gonna be next combo. I'm calling it right now. The, the next combo is gonna be winning this game. Oh my gosh, he actually leveled that skills a monk. Oh my gosh, he got hit with it too. Oh, this is gonna be this is so close. If he doesn't win this right now, it's gonna be it's gonna be damn close. Misses. Get the smasher. What are you doing, monk? You had this match. You had this match. Oh my gosh, both of them are just super armoring like crazy. I can't believe Monk actually leveled that skill. The the totem launch thing right there. This is insane that this Monk is... Monk is pulling shit out I'd never expected. This is gonna be good, guys. This is gonna be good. Gravity squeeze misses. He tries to go in with the chomping hammer. Oh my fuck. Get this with exquisite! Ducking body blow! He doesn't have a way to get out of this. This is gonna be game! Oh my gosh! Dude! That was some sick shit right there from that Monk. That was some good stuff right there. I did not see him coming out of that alive, and he did. Uh, pulling out some weird stuff like with the launcher. He, he max leveled that because it caused it, it was the biggest range, and he launched at the max max height. So Monk pulling ahead at the end of that. Immortal looked like he was just demolishing this whole game, and then Monk came back with three combos, and you know that's all it takes. Like I said, you get three initiations, you win the game. So I only saw really two solid initiations from the Avenger, and was not able to get that third one. So he got initiated pretty much. I mean. He basically got 100 would by the Monk in return. So really good match with the Monk. He, he really knows what he's doing right there. He, he, he saw his opportunity and took it. He missed a few things. He got a Smasher off one time and did not capitalize on that. Could have machine gun jabbed after that. Keep, tom keep the combo going. But really good match with the Monk, guys. We can talk forever about these fools, man. Good match. Obviously. Stuff I'm talking about and I'm, I'm looking at right now is awesome. I'm not going to be able to recreate that. Because I'm not as good. <laughs> but it's nice to see that shit when it happens, man. Just some practice, I guess, is all I need. But guys, second match. And Avenger has to sh show the kind of stuff he was showing in that first match. Uh, or the first part of that first match. Because uh, he really got rushed down. Hit with exquisite combo randomly and stuff like that. Ooh, he's throwing out... Oh, he tried to punish that uh, sacred countering right there. And he should have grabbed him. You're not going to punish it with an actual attack. Actually hits with the, the scythe attack, though. And that's going to be a basic attack combo. This is deja vu. This looks exactly what happened in the first match where he gets that launch in the basic attack combo. Okay. It's not, he's not been hitting any kind of stasis with whenever he casts the dark hand. Which it, which it could cause a hold on you. Uh, oh, we're seeing the demon transformation, guys. He actually got enough. Sonic Ball is in. And now every attack he does is going to launch a demon out there. The damage is coming out, baby. It's coming out severely. And he's just grabbing squeeze at the end of it. Massive! Massive! Look, he's still using the demon. Oh my gosh. That was like fucking more than 50% right there. It's such a high damage combo. Tries to go in there with a heavenly combo. Gets interrupted by the tentacles. Dude, he has some serious work. But I, I believe. I believe in the monk. I've already seen him do shit like this. So, man, one more combo though. Gets a launch or anything like that. It's going to be over. Ooh, gets a good solid launch right there. Didn't expect that to actually connect. Using the shadow clone. Actually hitting with this. He's actually ducking body blow at the end of it. He's using a squish combo. And actually finishes off with the smasher into the divine crush. Good hit right there. There it goes again. He was going to do that that hidden that hidden tactic. The tentacles are in and it's game over. The tentacles are in and it is game over, man. You're going to hit with the basic tech combo and that's going to be it right there, guys. So, I, like I said, the tentacles are just so, like, I, I want to say overpowered just because I think they have super armor. I think they can be canceled and, and they do count as a grab even though they're like halfway across the screen. And they come out quickly. It's not something that you're just going to see and be able to counter. So, um... He did kind of corner him into the corner right there. There's no way he was going to sway out of that. He just kind of pushed him into that area and then casted it. And that's how you're going to win the match. So, guys, they just went right into round three. Had no way to analyze that last match. So, guys, didn't even give me a chance to catch my breath, guys. So, anyway, guys, round three. What's happening? What's happening? Is it stuck? What's wrong with the camera? Okay, thank you. Are they restarting? They, they should restart this. Let's see. Let's see who's going to pull ahead. I've seen... I've seen mostly the Monk has been on the lower end of these trades and stuff. He's mostly playing from behind, trying to catch back up. The first match, he, I'd, I'd say he barely won, got kind of lucky. The second match was kind of domineering of the Avenger. Uh, let's see who's going to pull ahead on this last one. It is a tiebreaker match, so whoever wins this is that much closer to their flight over to Korea, guys. So a lot on the line on this match, honestly. Alrighty, guys, round three. Take you damn long enough. We're going into Bonga stage. There are a couple hazards that they have to be aware of. They'll probably go destroy them. It's those big, like, portal potties over there, the totems. But seeing a heal right at the start and a strike casted, I did not see strike casted from the, the monk, so he's missing out on a little bit of extra damage. Not that important, honestly. And we're seeing the Avenger playing a little keep, keep away right now. Both of them sizing each other up. Ooh, tries to go, jump in there right there. Actually, tries to hit with the machine gun jab after he hit with the. The Divine Combo right there, or Exquisite Combo, now he just got punished after he got launched, so... Using the Ancient, uh... 
the ancient eye right there, ancient will right there, ancient memory, and then gets a little bit of extra damage on his int attack, so, um, uses the sonic ball, gets grabbed out of the sonic ball, what a move right there, I think he uses side wind as well, so he gets the sh shadow clone as well, good, good punishment of the sonic ball, sonic ball is a really slow moving attack, and it looks like he can't punish it, he just went in there, side wind punished him, gets a launch on that, doesn't capitalize, oh man, I think he hesitated a little bit too much, he could have used the chopping hammer right there and just picked him back up, a little hesitation could have followed up with a full combo and only gets a few hits of that so goes in for another uh, exquisite doesn't actually connect with it and we're gonna see i'm gonna see tentacles i'm gonna see some shit oh there it is oh miss with the little aoe right there which oh there's the tentacles baby and that's gonna be a launch combo that's one thing you gotta look out for man I, I mean you just know it's coming after a certain amount of time it gets into the shadow form guys and that's gonna be the massive damage look at him keeping to air so high man he's I hit damage cap already. Oh, he did not get the grab and squeeze at the end, but did get the upcut uh, extra attack on that. He's just keeping him in the air hit stun for so long because of the demon form. Even though he hit damage cap, he was just like still stuck in the air like that. And this was the side of him grab. A voice of tentacle, but gets launched. This one might be it. Gets a, a bad miss right there. Actually pulls him back into combo, even though he missed the combo. What a move right there. Good good uh, execution right there. He just knows what he's going to hit with. Gets a good grab as well. He's not going to finish him off, but man, the work is cut out for the monk. Gets a haste fairy and gets a little bit more speed. Maybe he can get the initiation. The, the grab? Oh, I was expecting a sidewind grab again, man. Anyway, guys, I, it's not looking good for the monk. I want the monk to win. Tries to get the uh, heavenly combo to pull him in. Didn't get it. Oh, the tentacle. They trade. They trade hits right there. So they didn't actually get any kind of capitalization. Hurricane roll is in. And there's no way for him to escape this good move right there. They haven't seen him use the hurricane roll this whole match. Did not finish that combo off well at all. Did not actually get maximum damage at all with the hurricane roll. Didn't do enough damage. Would have liked to use that with the shadow clone. Gets a heavenly combo though. Pulls him in from the below him actually. Good pull. Did not capitalize very well at all again on that. So I would have loved to see the monk get a little bit more damage off of that. Gets a little bit of hit of the exquisite. And the tentacles are in. That's going to be a launch. Does not get the extra hit of the launch. That That's not enough. That's not enough. Gets a side wind grab. Oh my gosh. There's the grab. The smasher. Guys. Oh my gosh. Is he going to get with the machine gun jab? With the shadow clone? That might be enough damage. He doesn't actually hit the launch. He doesn't hit the launch. Oh my gosh. He does not finish that combo off well. Oh man. Okay. this The next combo is going to be gonna win right here he kept dropping that i can't believe he dropped it. he had the shadow clone up too would have done some massive damage would have been enough i think with the divine crush at the end of that i cannot believe he missed that and the launch gravity squeeze it's over it's over just like that muck no he's gonna he's not gonna be able to sleep well tonight after knowing he dropped that combo i mean i think it's it was a little bit of hp so god only knows what could have happened but Oh man, it sucks to lose that way. Congratulations to the Avenger to get that gravity squeeze at the end. He knew he won after he got that growl off. But man, that was some exciting stuff, guys. I did not expect uh, that to be so close. So Avenger does pull ahead like I expected, but the Monk, I, I think the Monk had this. I think the Monk had it. He had so many times where he came back. Even in the second match where he kind of got demolished, he had some times where he came back from that. And that last match, he had it. He came back and actually had it, and he I think he dropped it. The Shadow Clone up, he dropped it. That's thats a shame, guys. But anyway, good match again with the uh, Avenger and the Crusader. Oh, sorry, Avenger and the Monk. Am I going to predict anyone? Not for this final match. So um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You guys talk about uh, which one who, who might... Uh, pull ahead on this i was not prepared for that but anyway guys we got dank lord dark lord i keep saying dank lord dark lord and the uh, avenger guys nice block tries it again this time it is not working it is not working he was totally ready for that and he just casted another skill right after that tried to get a launch and didn't get it bad miss bad uses of buff he tried to cast a buff so that he can get extra damage in his combo dropped the combo because of it so turned around actually so actually misses full damage on that because he was trying to be a little bit greedy and try to get the extra damage um uh, a little bit of a mechanical error. That's something that you usually don't do, don't mess up on. Uh, but you're seeing the ghost step. Blocks again, and this time he gets a block punish. Man, he is so good at that. Rickon is just really uh, astonishing with that. Gets the Raza in, and he, Avenger's going to do everything he can to get out of there. He does not want to get with too many mummies. Gets launched, knocked down, and good trade so far from the Soulbender. He's taking a lot of good good trades for that. He, he's okay with taking that block of damage right there. Tries to put the tentacles through the damn barrels right there. I don't know how he would have followed up with it. He probably found a way to use Sonic Bar or something, but... Tried it anyway, missed, and gets a launch right there, and Dank Lord's going to be taking some damage. And better yet, the Avenger knows that he's wasting his time on the Kala, because he does not want the Kala up for too long. So he's just basic attack combo. Look at this shit. 
Basically that, basically that gets that launch on the last hit, and that's all you need to do, man. And this is the last final hit on that. Would have done more damage to finish off the combo. Tries the Sonic Ball, gets it in, actually used the launch pre before he actually got over to him. He actually used the launch on his little demon. Got frozen in the ice side. He wants to get out of there now. He got frozen yet again. Doesn't actually capitalize too much on that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys saw it use the Sonic Ball and then use the launch before he even got there, so it kind of surprised him. He was, he was he was expecting the Sonic Ball and he blocked for it, but did not block the launch initially, so. Anyway, Kala is back up. He did kind of waste the duration on the Sandy Combo. Guess the Phantasmal is going to get a little extra damage right there. The, I expecting... Oh, he didn't jump Kala him. Dude, that's the perfect time to jump Kala him, man. Oh, tentacles are in. Misses the launch on the second hit right there. Sometimes he's not very consistent. Tries to throw a random gravity squeeze right there. He's going in with Ice You don't want to do that, man. He's just he is turtling it up really hard right now, Rickon is. Uh, I think he's waiting for his cooldown or maybe on Ghost Step or something so he can step out more safely. But right now he's just waiting with the Ice Sia. Using even Tombstone right now. He got, it took a lot of damage right there, actually. Because of that Tombstone, took a lot of counterattack damage and not a good trade. Actually trades a neutral wave with the Tentacle, so that's good. Now he's got his Ghost Step up and now he's more prepared. He's going to be much more aggressive. And he has the Kala. Oh, he gets hit though! Standing combo into launch, guys. That was, that was beautiful. That was actually really beautiful timing. He, I, he, what? He missed like four times. Okay. Oh my gosh, he is dropping super hard right now. I think he's able to pick this back up. No, he missed it with that as well. Is he going to be? He got grab squeeze at the end of that. So even if it looks like he, he's dropped it, he's still able to keep the ground combos going long enough to, to actually pull ahead on that. Um, but man, that was really good timing on his little spikes right there, the standing spikes, because um, it was able to interrupt them long enough. Uh, it, it happened right after his ghost step run out. So he, he tried to abuse his ghost step, and, you know, he's running right in front of him, and he timed it right there where his ghost step would run out, and he got caught. And that's that's where you're dead. I expected him to die. He almost dropped it at the end there. So anyway, first round, guys, goes to the Avenger. I feel like the Soul Bender has this. He, he just needs to get a little bit more... Uh, I wouldn't say lucky. I'd be, be more... Uh, decisive i guess with his ghost step and abusing that uh abusing his kala he had an opportunity to use this back step kala like massive damage and he just stood right there so um he did not abuse his kala at all he didn't even get the final attack off if you if you're too scared to actually use the the shock is the 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 you know the the, sh the shots of the kala just use explosion attack which also hits on the ground so um i didn't even uh, he just wasted two kala so uh, if he hits all those kalas the damage that's where most of your damage comes from soul bender so i'm expecting to see that coming this round guys next time i'll set up a pull or something so i can do this a little better but guys avenger versus the uh soul bender all right we see the ghost step and uh coming in again indomitable spirit as well i didn't see him actually casting that he is just using Ghost Step to just run right by him. And he gets super armored right there. Man, he was he was really pensive about, about actually going in there and gets punished super hard when he got too close. He just, he, he went too many rotations without doing anything. That's the problem here. And he finally got capped while punished on that. Yet another miss on the spike, so it didn't get a good finishing uh, combo off, but got enough damage. This was the tentacles, though. And now we're seeing Gank Lord. He is really close to elimination right now, guys. You know, already one combo down. I would expect two more combos, and it would be game over, so. All right, we see the Ghost Step and the Kala, guys. It's coming in, boys. And just Phantasm right through the Sonic Ball, baby. Now am I going to see the Kala damage? Nope, he just dashed attack randomly, and now the Smasher's coming in. Why? I, I'm, I'm not seeing him capitalize on the Kala very much right there. He just ha he had that. Ooh, really good timing, though. That's just experience right there. Really good timing on the tentacles right there to kind of uh, get a, the perfect opportunity to go right through the tentacles without getting punished too hard, or at all, basically. Um, did take a bad trade with the rocks out of the ground and gets a smasher combo and I's doing the ground combos into the gravity squeeze Are you kidding me man? Man the ground combos are fucking serious on the Avenger more so than I ever expected He hit so much damage they hit damage cap and he like basically landed on his feet But guys this is a relaunch combo and this guy's might be game if he gets a good finisher at the end of this combo He's already hitting damage cap and if he gets like well he already used gravity squeeze So he might not be able to have a good uh, combo finisher, but this one might be good guys Oh my gosh! Oh, this one's gonna be it, man. He is set up for that massive damage combo and transformed into the demon to get that standing combo super high hit delay or hit stun on it that he couldn't even hit damage cap and, and fall to the ground. That's just devastating combo from the Avenger. Uh, pulling ahead and finally beating the uh, the Dank Lord, guys. And sadly, Rickon, he just Rickon, uh, did not pull ahead with the Dark Lord. Just sadly just took too much damage from the Immortal Combos. Did not abuse uh, the Kala. I, I feel like... I mean, this is just coming from what I saw. He had Kala activated, but was not able to capitalize on massive damage combos. He was on the ground, just perfect time to jump and just start throwing Kalas at him, and I didn't see it happen. So, sadly, guys, you know, Dark Lord didn't make it uh, 
uh, through. But guys, we do have an Avenger that made it through uh, and is going to Korea. So congratulations to... Uh, shit, I, I forgot his name already. G GK or something? I have it right here. What is his name? Congratulations to GTSK, an immortal who beat uh, Dark Lord, Justice, and a Crusader, guys. So anyway, guys, let's delete these guys and get ready for the next bracket. Because as far as I'm concerned, in terms of commentary, I'm only a fourth done. <laughs>